Hi, this is to demonstrate the use of transition bend in Creo sheet metal. Typically, uh, the transition bend using transition bend we can create components like a lug, wherein you have a curl here which transitions into a flat portion here. This can be achieved in two features, namely one can be a planar plane, just the first wall, a plane wall, and for aesthetics I have added some fillets here, radiuses, and then the actual transition pen. I'll just take this insert here, so that you can see the first feature first feature would be some like this this is the top view then I have added the rounds so we have the rounds here 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 and here there are four rounds here and then the bend finally the bend just to showcase how the bend has been created I will just go into the definition mode the placement is this plane that is a plane in green color then I would define the bend line we'll go into the sketch I've drawn a line taking the surface here as a reference and another line here that is the intersection of this uh, edge and the edge vertical edge here I have inserted a point here and I have taken a uh, created a line here I will just switch off the displays to hidden line so that you can see the line the line in orange color this is the one so this will be the bend line direction say okay and then here we need to define the transition you can see here that I have something called as a transition one there you can see the transition one you can create the transition one by clicking on add transition that is how I have created it so you can create by clicking on add transition can go to the transition mode and here I define the extent that is the ex the, the line from which the extent from which the transition would start and where it would end so here it would start and here it would end so these are the two lines which I have defined I can give the dimensions or I can give so let us say I have given it as say 8 mm these dimensions are not very critical but then it you have to ensure that the line goes outside the uh, component it will be a good practice to take a reference of any of these walls and then give the dimension with respect to those walls so that whenever you change any dimensions the feature should would not fail I can say okay to this relief there shall be no relief since it is transition bend for transition bends you don't give any relief nothing to specify here one important thing I would I'd like to showcase here is I have taken a certain length of the blank and I have given a normal bend I can also go for a roll bend that is bend to end, end of surface this is also called as a roll bend roll bend is generally defined as when the radius of the bend is uh, greater than 10 times the thickness of the material then it is called as a roll bend for a, this kind of a bend I cannot give an angle but then I can give a bend radius 
the moment I give a bend radius of 2.5, reduce it, the uh, feature fails. If I give 3, it's okay. But then I do not get a 360 degrees. There is a gap here. I do not get a 360 degree bend here. This can be obtained by adjusting either the radius either the radius or the blank generally it is very difficult to adjust the radius because the radius of the lug is fixed so one needs to adjust the blank size so let us say I create a failed feature here I say 3 uh, say 5 Oh, 5 is also possible okay let me take 2.5 so yes so to fit 2.5 it has failed and I say okay it is creating a failed feature I can go to the section and then edit the section I click on 19 and let me drag yeah see the moment I drag, a stage comes wherein the bend is possible. There you can see the dynamic dragging. And you can also see as to why the feature has failed. At a point, the feature is going inside the component here. You can need to notice here, that is the gap. Now I have a gap. Now I don't have, it's failed. So this could be the ideal condition wherein the gap is minimum. So this is, and for that to achieve that gap, the blank size will have to be 17.633 or you can arrive at a figure of 17.5 to be on a rational side, rational size. So with 17.5, I can get a feature that will not fail. So this is a way of doing it. So I can measure the gap here. It's 0 0.2 which is okay. When I say 0 0.2 it is in millimeters. All the units are in millimeters. Thank you very much.